namaste welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl let's get right into this reading i'm just on a high flying disc guys i, I hope you're doing well we're just gonna get straight into this and see exactly what you need to know all right oh my goodness this deck freaks me out every time i literally started this video over because i was like mm, i don't want this to be my reading i want it to be your reading but baby i'm telling you your su success is triggering the hell out of their childhood trauma okay so you if you're not popping in life, you're about to be popping in life because this literally just came out about two minutes ago. And I was like, no, nope, mm -mm -mm. so this is your reading. It's not my reading. It's your reading. All right. So listen, if you're if you got haters at work, if you got people giving you issues, problems, drama in whatever field you work in, your friends, who your faux friends, the fakies, all right? Listen, babe, I'm telling you right now, it's okay. Keep shining. Keep shining. Keep shining. Let's get into this and see what you need to know right now. Just leave. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't for someone else. Wow, stop telling them your business. They will never give you the validation that you deserve. I feel like this has come up before. You know, it's like in a previous reading. Don't know which one. But I'm just saying, it's like some people, they're just not going to be happy for you. You know, there is power in your silence. Little Wayne said, real G's move in silence like lasagna if you like if you like hip-hop i'm just saying that's one of the best lyrics ever they're not gonna give it to you you don't need it you're being validated from the spirit realm you're being validated from your angels ancestors and spirit guides that love you unconditionally okay so this is also like you know not sharing your ideas with anyone um this deck is going all over the place Let's just get maybe two more to see what you need to know from my spiritual confirmation deck that I created with my spiritual team. They need you way more than they're letting you know. Right away, I feel like this has to do with a work situation, okay? Um, but it could be other things. It could be friendships. It could even be a romantic interest. But whoever it is in your life that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis or you have to deal with, this could be, um, you know, co-parenting situations. They need you way more than they're letting you know. Okay? So if someone's trying to ice you out, someone's trying to give you the cold shoulder, it could be that just that they're like, intimidated by you and like your success your confidence they're trying to put baby in the corner type of situation it's not going down okay you cannot hide who you are because when you hide who you are you are denying your path okay you got to be in alignment with your desires and for me i'm getting the vibe that You're really onto something amazing. You're doing something amazing. You have amazing ideas. You have amazing dreams and goals. And it's definitely triggering someone. Wow, look at this. <clears throat> it says brand new, bigger, and better energy heading towards you now. So there is a windfall I'm hearing of something new, bigger, and better that's heading towards you. I'm ready to move forward. Let's just see what this is. Okay, what is coming towards you that you have to look forward to? What is it about you that's, you know, triggering these people or person? Like, I'm just, whoo. What is this bigger and better energy that is coming towards you? Journey. Now, I'm not even kidding, guys. Like, I'm really not kidding. Okay. 
I'm literally looking at a path right here on my television as I'm watching this. Um, there is a path. There is a journey. You guys are about to be traveling. If traveling is coming up, really huge. And I'm not hearing anything like poor man's type of traveling. There are things that are going. You're going to be discovering that's going to change your life, the course of your life, for the better. You have completed something major, a major milestone in your life. Here with this number ten. You're going on a journey, a spiritual journey, yes, but this is more materialistic. You're going to have the means and the success. You might even get chosen to, you might be picked out of a group of people, like at your job, to, to have some sort of experience internationally. I'm in America, so if you're in Europe, maybe you're traveling to America. America, maybe you're traveling to Europe, but I am seeing journey coming up, and I'm seeing a luxurious journey a new experience with this brand new bigger and better energy oh i'm just so grateful on the bottom of the deck we have privileged ladies so someone's definitely going to seek you out are you going to be chosen in some sort of way and if that's not the case you're in this energy it doesn't matter if you're a masculine or a feminine watching this you're just in this lucky state okay luck and good positive energy is coming your way and some traveling so congratulations to you let me know all about it in the comments yes there's a message coming through um i'm definitely getting this could be an acceptance into some school or work or promotion there is a message if this is a love interest then yeah you know that's cute you're gonna be getting a message from someone who wants to talk to you who wants to send you a message we'll look into that okay what is this bigger better new energy heading towards you now even as we speak so i'm also hearing for you to keep your thoughts and your vibrational frequency as high as possible and the best way to do that is to stay in the present moment we do have expectation so if you have been expecting some sort of blessing some sort of new opportunity some sort of message i'm telling you right now it's it's about to happen it's gonna come out of nowhere and on the side over here we have change so your life is about to change again there's a lot of traveling there is oh my goodness I, i'm just i'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed guys just just give me a second okay i'm seeing a lot of luxurious experiences coming up in your life this is for someone that has really been putting in a lot of work manifesting like crazy all of a sudden it's your time all of a sudden you're <laughs> you're just gonna move hopefully you are ready to go i'm a minimalist i'm literally like i feel like i could literally maybe pack up like all of my things in like maybe two hours okay <laughs> I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Because your life is literally about to change here. For some of you, you could be moving to London. Um, if you're in London, you can move. I'm getting London here. I'm getting New York City. Okay. I'm just saying there's big opportunities coming up. Keep your head up. Keep manifesting. And only tell the people that you feel are really going to support your dreams and your desires and your goals they're going to send you that positive energy only tell them because not everyone is going to be happy about this new bigger and better energy that is heading your way i mean in order to have brand new this is new so there is something new brand new bigger and better energy heading towards you now so at any moment you could be ready to go you could be traveling so i'm just saying pack your bags and be ready um someone really special could be choosing you all right let's just see if we can get some messages from the tarot and see what else you need to know People 
love you. People love being around you. People love working with you. People are waiting to see what you're going to do next. Okay, we, I'm hearing, I want to know about love. We will get into that, okay? I will give you some messages regarding love. This could also be pertaining to love, especially with this three of wands. And then we have the message card. And then we have the three of pentacles. So, yeah, this person could be wanting to introduce you to your friends, introduce you to their co-workers, talk to their co-workers about you there's travel involved there's this energy of trusting the process that you will be receiving some sort of information take it how it resonates we do have the ace of wands here so uh, overall there's a passionate new beginning you are going to be starting over your creative energy is going to be sparking and you could be meeting someone new that you know it's special to you. Um, or receiving clarity over a situation. Yeah. Because some of you really want clarity with this expectation and this Ace of Wands. And I believe that you're going to receive this clarity with this message. Okay. I kind of want to see, like, who wants to send you a message and what is it about okay so let's tap into that for some of you with this three of pentacles here it could be a work situation or yeah mm. this is somebody that you really want to talk to that's all i know this is someone that you feel like you have an intuitive connection with and this is someone that you quite possibly could have walked away from or that could have walked away from you and, and you didn't have closure. So this is going to be about some sort of closure coming into your life, whether it be romantic or business related. Okay. Yes. So expect the clarity that you need here with this moon card. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy coming through. Aries Leo Sag. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy coming through at the moment. Let's see what else you need to know. Um, what is this change card about? Because what is this brand new beginning and change that's coming up for you? Cancer energy coming through. Cancer energy coming through strong here. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Um, honestly, it could be a new vehicle. <laughs> some of you could be getting a new ride, a new car, a new life, a new relationship. Because both of this, uh, both of these speak of new physical, tangible things. Moving, okay? So I think that that's what that brand new. Sometimes, sometimes they're just quite literal. Also, too, stability is coming into your life. If you have been kind of feeling unstable, maybe moving around too much, you're going to be receiving some sort of stability. So if you're expecting clarity about some new beginning, you're going to have your answer. It's coming in strong here with the Ace of Swords and the Fool card, okay? So, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy coming through. There's some big major change coming into your life. And I do think that it's going to lead to your ultimate bliss. Okay? Look at that. I can't make this up. What? Like, mm. This is just, this is just so beautiful. Like the, the angels, the ancestors, spirit guides, the universe, they're just smiling on you. There's just a blessing literally about to fall out of the sky. This message that you're about to receive is going to blow your mind. Mm. The number seven is significant. For some of you, this is just a windfall. Of financial 
advancement is what I'm hearing, okay? Like, you can't make this stuff up. I love seeing the Ace of Pentacles in a reading, especially in regards to change. So whatever this change is, it is going to be a luxurious lifestyle change. Are you hearing me? Write it down in the comments. I always get what I want or even better to make it real because that's what you're about to experience, okay? Write it down and make it real, okay? <laughs> this is a luxurious lifestyle change that's heading towards you. That's the bigger and better, period. Like a new home, a new job, a new relationship, a new, new, new. You've been heartbroken. You've been through a lot. You've been broken down. You've had to deal with a lot. You're right to keep your guards up right now. You're right to keep your... <laughs> What's about you when it comes to your time, your frequency, and your energy, okay? Um, let's just see if this is re regarding to love, okay? Because that was a nice general, general type of vibe energy. I know a lot of you are, you know, concerned about love. And that's one of my favorite topics to read for is love because I have... A gift of reuniting and uniting romantic partners okay let me just see which deck do I want to use I'm gonna use this one yes don't forget to press like share subscribe click the notification bell if you're still watching this, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see for being here and experiencing this blessed moment with me. If this is regarding love. What do you need to know right now? Oof, somebody feels tied to you romantically. And I do feel that if you have been feeling left out in the cold and you need some sort of clarity on this situation, like you don't know where you stand, especially if it's regarding a child, you're going to receive this, this information. Your love life could be going through some sort of spiritual metamorphosis. A spiritual upgrade is what I'm hearing. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Libra, could be any sign. But I'm definitely getting the vibe of a spiritual upgrade. And people are being judged for, for how they treat you in a relationship. So hopefully the ties that need to be cut are being cut right now. And you're using your better judgment because you're being called to use your better judgment. We do have the moon card here. We have the tower. And we have the seven of cups. Okay, so... Honestly, someone is insecure about your relationship. Someone is feeling like they might be getting left out in the cold. Um, they don't like the idea of you being with someone else. Somebody is. <laughs> and this could all be in their heads. Okay, this could be in their mind because we do have the seven of pentacles, seven of cups. The seven of cups represents the mind playing tricks on you because i'm hearing somebody's mind is definitely playing tricks on them and they're seeing things that they really shouldn't be seeing you know it's like it's not real that's an illusion we do have the moon card coming up here twice really strong pisces energy coming through really strong cancer pisces scorpio really strong aries really strong scorpio energy okay like what um yeah this person just there might be some trust issues coming up. Listen, if you're trying to leave a situation and you're trying to walk away, like, I would do it peacefully here with the moon card. I would not let this person know if you're leaving them for someone else. And if you're not, this person is worried about this. Or if you're attracting love into your life, this is someone who's going to be jealous. They don't want to see you with anyone else. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. If you think that, then I'm, if you think it's okay... Like, I, I would just be careful. And I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like when I see that card. Um, you know, it's time for you to get your reward. It's time for you to get your healing. 
if you've been hurt in the past or, or over giving or over sharing in a connection in a relationship the the angels are asking you and i keep hearing angels which is really interesting because these are in reverse the star card in reverse the justice in reverse and i don't read the second reverse but i just feel like there's some major healing that needs to take place in your within yourself major arcanas are coming up you have four of them so if you're dealing with someone who is not giving you the attention love and affection that you deserve you might be it might be time for you to move on it might be time for a change okay i just want to keep it real with you all right um what else do you need to know about love and Yeah, you're going to be finding love where you least expect it. Someone who's into music or someone who is a creative artist, um, they might have left you out in the cold. They might have left you feeling like you were less than, but there is someone coming in that's going to change your life and i am getting the vibe that this this tower moment if you if you recently broke up with someone or let them go i'm telling you right now they definitely feel some type of way they definitely feel hurt and their subconscious mind is kind of seeing you with someone else they're kind of seeing you like this like you moved on to someone bigger and better than them and it's not making them very happy i, I gotta say um, they're they're mad about it and they're hurt someone feels left in the out in the cold by you and if that's not your reading then you know it might be it might this might not be a reading okay let's get into what this person what do they want to say to you right now um look at my phone every day hoping I would see a message from you yeah so I'm just saying if you're not talking to them if you cut them off if there's any sort of separation and even if it isn't even if the, it isn't they this someone is thinking about you this is the type of love that you're attracting into your life okay someone who's gonna want to communicate with you someone who's gonna want to be around you someone who's gonna love hearing from you and and have concerns about you okay oh i love it i love it i love it i love it oh i'm sorry i put my career before you I'm trying to get out of debt. I'm willing to put in the time and effort now because I don't want to lose you. Baby, that's what this message is all about. Now you tell me, because my readings don't lie. Does this, is this making sense to you? Someone chose a career over you. Someone chose something over you. And you, you, you're, you're, you're about to cut their asses off if you haven't already, okay? And they can definitely feel this energy. <laughs> um, someone's definitely looking for a message from you every single day. I don't even really think I need to go any further. I, I really feel like I'm just going to pull one more, one more, one more. And then we're just going to get some advice on what you should do about your life right now because it definitely is looking up i feel like this is a good person that's coming in i feel like this is i don't feel like they're a bad person i don't feel like this is a player now if you do that's on you always do what's led okay mm. i'm ready to come clean i can't lose you again 
So, if this is a repeat offender, you already know what we do about that. Like, what? But also, I'm hearing this again has to do with a past life. If this is a new, like, relationship, it's like a new connection and you guys haven't had it on again, off again, uh, lose you again. There's something spiritual. There's, there's some type of spiritual connection that I feel this person has with you. And they don't want to lose you again. Why did I say one more? Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I love variety, but there is something about you I just can't resist. Of course. Of course, because you're everything. You're everything. Like, <laughs> I don't know about that person. That's funny. Let's get you some advice. See what you need to know in general right now. Let's just see what you're being guided to understand overall in your life. Ooh. That's too many. Do you need to know right now? Stop trying to fix people. It isn't your job to fix anyone. Allow people the dignity of their own paths. Okay, so that this this is all really making sense because we have path here. We have journey here. Journey in the beginning. We have path. So I'm just saying, like, and in, in this illustration, his back is turned towards trying to fix people so like it's a wrap they can figure it out it might be time for you to trust and allow the universe to have your back because the universe 100 percent has your back you don't need to worry about anything else you don't need to fix people especially if you're an empath this is the empath oracle deck um yeah, so I'm just saying, like, I'm hearing thank you next. Thank you next. It's not up to you. It's up to them. And a lot of times when you're trying to step in and fix people and save people and change people, you're actually giving them a disservice of having their own connection, right? And having their own spiritual journey, right? Right? That's what this change is. There's a change of perspective that's coming up for you as well. So thanks again for watching. If you like this, press like, share, subscribe. It really helps me when you do that. Click the notification bell. I'll see you soon in your next reading. Until then, namaste, peace and love.